boys and girls. So, uh, what's up, everybody? I know you can't see me, and that's okay. There was one thing I had to show you guys, and hopefully it works, because if it don't, I got some serious problems. Oh, here it goes. You ready? It's going to hurt. It won't hold my weight. So it's going to go a little fast. What I was intending on doing here with my lift, and uh, a few of you may have seen this in the background but not realized what it was. So briefly let me show you an overview of what I've actually done here. If I turn this light off maybe it'll be better. That's yeah, worse. Alright, so I've got this old uh, shaft that I got out of the dumpster. The bearings got out of the dumpster. Uh, I machined these little pulleys out of some old plastic uh, nylon, I think. And then my previous, previous job, I got these cables, uh, plastic coated cables. This is my door opener part, I'll bring it down. Got these plastic coated cables, and uh, they're really nice, so I decided to incorporate them into my platform here. Stops just the right spot. A little bit of weight on there, and it's right against the ground. So, uh... Yeah, I got these plastic cables, and uh, there you can see I was just using a garage door opener. That's why it didn't hold my weight. That was pretty intense. That was an interesting intro to a video, wasn't it? And then it's hard to see, but I just created this frame out of scrap iron and uh, welded everything up, made it my nice little frame up here, and incorporated my garage door opener and all my... Um, you can see my cable is tied right there, comes up, and down to the platform. Same thing over there, it's tied over there, it comes over around this pulley and it gets tied to the platform. And so that's how I'm actually doing that. Now you might be thinking, well what good is it because you didn't even hold your weight. Well that's the part I didn't get to yet. Didn't get to finish it. And it is hard to see because of this lighting. But you can see right here there's a cable. There we go, there's a cable in hanging right there. It's supposed to go around that pulley then I have another shaft across here which is supposed to go across and it would have hung right between my old TV monitor and my other cabinets, my shelves I had in here. It just right there is where it was going to hang at. And I had a the 400, 300 pound weight that I was going to counterbalance. I was going to tie uh, the cable to there, uh, add the weight to a pulley and bring it back up so it would be half the weight of the um, uh, big slab of iron that I had. And that would counterbalance any of the weight that's on here. So that was the original goal. I never got finished with that, and it's the last thing in my garage, except for this generator. I don't own this generator. And um, a few other things, but this, this shop, dude, it's empty. And I wanted to show you this because I didn't want to take it down. My uncle's going to take the bar up there and a few other things. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's what I was uh, intending on doing. I was obviously going to put a button on here, but this is what I got for now. Pretty simple. Uh oh. There we go. And yeah. Just lifts right on up there. And that's it. So that's the automated garage door opener lift. 
obviously without the counterbalance you can see the cable here it's a pretty big cable that went along the back here and went around them pulleys you can see that's the end of the cable that goes around that pulley which goes around these shafts which holds the counterbalance but anyway I just briefly wanted to show you that I'm running out of time this is the last thing that I wanted to do besides just yeah show you guys the empty lab I gotta get this generator back over to my buddy. I just is storing it for him. I didn't have a place to store it. But that's it. This box goes in my car. This recycled aluminum cans in that one. This place is empty. It's been a fun little research laboratory, but it's time to take things to a new level. And uh, yeah, so that's it. I thought you would enjoy that one. Man, I didn't know. I was a little scared about even getting on that thing because I don't have the counterbalance. That was scary. All right, well, Russ with rwgresearch.com and uh, check out open-source-energy.org and come join the fun. I need to take a few pictures of this maybe or maybe this will be the only other thing you'll ever see of it. But I told you I had something cool to show you in my garage I was working on. That was it. Didn't get it finished. Peace out. Whoop, whoop. Shoo. A lot of work, guys. A lot of work. Thanks for all your support. Enjoy this video. Leave a comment. I know you like this one. A little bit of redneck engineering going on here, but uh, <laughs> hey, it works. See ya. Okay. Let's see if I can get up here.